Her tonight escaping the grips of a predator. One of the teenagers who says a man tried to kidnap her off the streets is talking about the scary encounter only here on 7. 7 investigator Jonathan Carlson is live on Detroit's west side tonight where the search is on for a suspect. Jonathan? Well, good evening. One of those girls tells me that this guy tried this one time before. This time she's telling her story and fighting back. I have a lot of friends, you know, that's walking with me, of course. This 14 year old whose identity we're protecting isn't taking chances. So you guys are all sticking together. Exactly. She's one of two girls police say were almost abducted by a man trying to lure kids into his car here on Westwood. The teen remembers the suspect in his car vividly. He has a black for focus with rims. And he has like a really thick beard. He's in his mid 40s. She says she's talked with police, and without giving away details that might hurt the case, it's fair to say they have a potential suspect in mind. He cannot hide. We will not let him hide. But the chief tells us they're we're still very much uh, asking for the public's help. I'm optimistic. I think that we're going to bring some closure soon. The teen says this isn't the first time this man has tried these attempts. He did this to me last year with my friend. This one. And we were walking, and he did the same thing last year. Oh, he got out of the car. And then he came and approached me and put his arm around me. Hey. So he grabbed my arm, and he was going to get, you know, put me in the car. I pushed him. We started running. Were you by yourself? Yes. Now, the other victim, she said she was by herself, too. Now, I can tell you, no one around here is walking by themselves. DPD and volunteer patrols have been stepped up as this entire neighborhood stays vigilant. We're live on the west side. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Certainly sounds like smart girls, though, huh? Yeah, it's a good thing yeah. that the people on the watch out for this guy now. Jonathan, thank you for that.